Hi friends, it's Mrs. Quella. I have a story I'd like to share with you today. This story is called The Little Mouse and the Red Ripe Strawberry and the Big Hungry Bear. This story right here is the Spanish version, so I'm going to show you the other version in English right now. Hold on one second. Have it right here to share with you. So we're gonna listen to the little mouse, the red ripe strawberry, and the big hungry bear. It's by Don and Audrey Wood. It's the author and the illustrator, their husband and wife. They have the same last name. <laughs> The little mouse, the red ripe strawberry, and the big hungry bear. Hey there, little mouse. What are you doing? You look so proud. Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Uh oh, look at his face. Feels a little scared. Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. Uh oh, the big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Especially one that has just been picked. Uh oh. Boom, boom, boom. Here he comes. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and ready to sniff, sniff, sniff and find that strawberry. Oh, look at he's trying to hide it. No matter where it is hidden, if it's in the dirt or inside, locked up in lock and key. Or who is guarding it? That big bear will get it. Big hungry bear will eat it up. Or how you disguise it. Look, he's wearing a mask. But it's still a big juicy strawberry. Quick, there's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from a big hungry bear. Cut it in two. And share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum, yum, yum. And then it's all gone. Now that one red ripe strawberry, the big hungry bear will never get. And that's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it about the big hungry bear, the red ripe strawberry, and the little mouse. Maybe you can enjoy some strawberries at home. Be well, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care.